morning from the Isle of Skye you join me as I'm just setting off up to a Corbett call I think it's called Garbian but I'm probably wrong I'll put it on the screen once again these Gaelic names so I'm going to be climbing up there up that ridge that be like there and following it right along into that dip and you can just make the Corbett there in the distance on the bee like there that's the trick point of the cover and then I'm going to come back either over this smaller earlier and down the bee like or just behind and back down to where I've set off from which is there okay that's the road there so I'll crack on it's about nine degrees and it's forecast to be showers all day one thing I did forget to mention is I'll be back in a Graham status mountain Copa Lake before I back the Corbett. So I'll just show you that on the map. There's a river crossing wall. Big steep climb coming up. Just in front there is, is part of the Black Cooling, it's, I think you pronounce it Blabian, but once again I'll put it on the screen. Uh, that's the first time I've seen the summit for the last three days. It's just been covered in mist. So that's a Munro there and you get the path from over there. So I, like I say, I've chosen to do this one, so get cracking. Have another burn or river to navigate across. I've had that much rain over the last three days. I'll find a way over this somehow. Looks like I'll carry on up there. Still, still looking. And while still looking for a way to cross, I found a little gem. Look at this I've just seen on the way. Your own private pool. Wow, look at that. Beautiful waterfall. Here's another one. And after being distracted by the waterfalls for another 10 minutes, I managed to drag myself away and find a crossing further up the burn. Oh, I managed to get across there, but I fell in again. Okay. That looks tough terrain now. I wasn't planning on doing it from this side. I was planning on going from over there. There's the summit there. So along there. Just a shower coming in. Okay, get up there. Yeah, probably about halfway, but I've got to get up there now. That looks really steep. And steep it was, a real leg buster. And as I started to get higher up the bee like the heavens opened. Just sat behind this rock looking at the views while the shower passes. Which is over there, the shower now it's going, I think. So I'll get up and get cracking. And cracking I did, because I knew I still had a lot to do. Bad view back here. Eh? And with the first summit of Billig in sight, 
I started to hit some rocky terrain. On the slippy stuff now. And after slipping and sliding on the final push, I finally made the plateau. Wow, look at that for a view. Right out to sea over there. I'm up now, so... That's the sting in the tail to the covert. But I'm going to go up there. That bit there. Crack on. Okay, this is first summit. This is a Graham status, so 702 metres. It's called Belig. B E L I G. Woohoo! That's a trick point. Spin you round to cooling, black cooling. Okay, I'll spin it round. That's Blobian over there. I'm moving round. That's out to sea again. Woo, look at the views. Unbelievable, aren't they? And after admiring the views for a good 10 minutes, it was now time to move on to the next mountain, Garbane. So I'm just leaving the summit now and I'm on the really slippy stuff. So there's the sting in the tail and then up there to that covert. The sun's coming out again now. And slowly getting down the bee lack, I knew I had a long way to climb back up again. I've just come down there. Flipping out, really slippy is that. It's that volcanic rock when it gets wet. I'm just laughing to myself how slippy this is, I'm falling all over. It's funny in a way. <laughs> Nearly there now. <laughs> Finally down in the bottom. Can't stop looking at the black cooling over there. Okay, better get stuck in. I haven't had any lunch yet. So that's it, finally at the halfway point. I found myself dropping down to about 400 metres and knew I had a big climb back up to Garburn. Right, that's first bit over now, second bit. Up there, <laughs> looks steep. Probably about halfway, maybe a bit more. Just looking back. Okay, up there. Oh, very slippy. Look at that. And with getting stuck in and being three quarters of the way up, I've decided to grab a bite to eat. That's where I came this morning. 
all the way up there and down there and then up here so yeah it's quite a tough walk is this okay all fed so there's the summit not far now and after slipping and sliding i finally got up and made the summit way that's the trick point wow brilliant just gone a bit overcast Blabby, blabby, I think that's blabby and well, it's a Munro. Look at this for a view. I know it's just a bit overcast, but at least it's not raining. I'm swing round to the black cooling. I think that's Score Nagillion, something like that. <laughs> Me and my girl, it's terrible. Well, I won't disagree with that. So after spending another 10 minutes admiring the views and the sun was starting to set, it was time to get moving because I knew I had still a lot to do. Beyond the Lee at Pinnacles here. Bit of ridge walking. Well, about halfway down now. It's pretty tough terrain, is this? So, get down here somehow. Yeah, a boot wrecker. Okay, finally down. That took some time to get down. That was really slippy. So, right, I'll spin round and got to get up here now. Back up again. Well, it's getting cool now. And time's getting on, it's going dark. Ooh. That's the Corbett well left behind. That's where I came down. Ooh. Okay, I'm on this ridge now. So this was it, the last challenge of the day. I looked at the pinnacle in the distance and thought, is that doable? And if it wasn't, I would turn round as darkness was falling. I'm going to try and get up here. Some grey footholds. And finally, after another 15 minute scramble, I made the last pinnacle summit. It was worth it. Even though it's going dark, still getting a great view.